I find this way over the line. Want to hear what you have to say. It's a naked Playboy bunny in a new racy ad brought to you by PETA. Again, warning you, you don't want to get the kids away from the screen here. You, you might find this offensive because she's wearing nothing but the cross, a crucifix. There she is, Joanna Krupa with her angel wings and the cross. Come on, why go there? I mean, this is an admirable cause to adopt a pet, stay away from the puppy mills, maybe a rescue uh, animal. But why do you have to degrade a faith to do this, to strategically place a cross on a naked body? You know, I'm on board with the message, but you lose me with this, and I'm, I'm sure many of you agree out there. Call in. What do you think? one 877 tell hln is the number. Joining me to talk about this, we welcome Lisa Lange. Welcome her back to the show, by the way. Senior Vice President of Communications for PETA, and also with us, Bill Donahue, President of the Catholic League. Uh, Lisa, again, I'm with you on the overall message, but why offend a faith in the process? Well, it is part of our Be an Angel for Animals series, hence the wings and the, and the cross and the halo. Um, but judging from the vast majority of Catholics and non-Catholics alike that we've been hearing from over the last few days, the ad is appreciated. There is nothing wrong with sex. There's nothing wrong with being sexy. And we're finding that a lot of Catholics are grateful for the message because it's a reminder that, as they've said, Animals are God's creatures, too. Right. And as long as millions are dying in shelters every year because pet stores, puppy mills, right. and backyard breeders are still breeding With animals, the then we need to call attention to this, this really okay. important issue. Uh, and I don't, I do, I got to say this, though, and, and Bill, I'll get you in on this. I find it hard to believe that Catholics, Protestants, Christians are okay with a cross strategically placed over a naked body. Bill, your thoughts? You know, there are millions of ex-Catholics, lame Catholics, lame Protestants, and in polls, they always say that they're Catholic and Protestant. They don't even go to church at Christmas time anymore, so they don't really count. No practicing Catholic or Protestant wants to see their religion ripped off like this. Jews have complained about Peter in the past. We've complained along with Jews and others. And if it's not really offensive, well, why don't they just take the star and crescent and use that on a naked woman? Lisa, you know, I'll let you respond. Go ahead. we got some calls lined yeah, up as well. Go ahead. What's very offensive to most people is the fact that while breeders are still in business and pet stores are still, in, still selling animals by the hundreds of thousands every year, that we're having that seven to eight million animals are being dumped at shelters and half of them are being euthanized. If people want to get upset about something, that's what they should get upset about. Lisa? This ad is, uh, you know, Joanna, who is in the ad, is a practicing Catholic. She practices the core teachings of that religion. She is kind. She's <laughs> Jenner, she just happens to be extraordinarily beautiful. Lisa, this let me, ad is beautiful, and frankly, it's tasteful. Okay, Lisa, why are two wrongs a right? Because there's a lot of people of faith offended by this, that it's a degradation of the Christian faith. The cross is a sacred symbol to be used like this. Uh, is just flat out wrong. And don't you want people of faith on board? I'm talking about devout people of faith who do go to church every Sunday, sure. who love uh, the Lord, love going to church, and agree with you, but they're turned off by this. Well, I, I've got to tell you, Mike, it's not what we're finding to be true. People coming to the site, emailing us, tweeting about the ad. Yes, there are some people who are offended by it. And to those people, I, I apologize. But most people we're hearing from, especially young practicing Catholics and non-Catholics, but Christians nonetheless, are are saying that they appreciate it because the spay neuter issue, the overpopulation right. crisis for cats and dogs, is something a lot of people aren't talking about. We needed to do something well, to really know, get people to pay attention, and this beautiful okay. ad helps do that. Guys, we got some calls lined up. We're going to take a quick break, but Bill, go ahead. I'll let you respond. Yeah, Peter, we'll, we'll, Peter is doing a very good job about the overpopulation. They kill 95% of all the cats and dogs in their custody. They've killed over 22,000 cats and dogs in 10 years. They have a budget of 32 million. They don't operate a single adoptive shelter for animals. They place seven up for adoption last year. They kill an average of six a day. So they would know something about taking care of the overpopulation okay, problem. Okay, I'll let Le Lisa, I'll let you respond after the break. We'll clock's up against it here and we'll take some calls as well. You know the number, one 877 Back to Prime News on HLN, continuing our passionate conversation about a new racy ad from PETA, and it features a Playboy playmate. And again, we warn you, get the kids out of the room. Um, th this is, to me, despicable to show basically all this woman is wearing is the cross, a sacred symbol uh, of uh, the Christian faith, and that's what we're getting from uh, Joanna Kruper here. Uh, 
We have both sides lined up. Bill Donahue, President of Catholic League. He is offended, like myself. Lisa Lange is with us as well, Senior Vice President of Communications from PETA. Again, uh, Lisa, you said that was tasteful. I'm, I'm, I would guarantee that the most Christians would say that is not tasteful to have a woman out there wearing nothing but the cross. But uh, I know uh, as we sort through this, there's a lot of people that agree with your message. Uh, that uh, We agree that we don't want to see innocent puppies and kittens and animals mistreated, but to degrade a faith is a wrong way to go about getting your message out there. We're taking calls, one eight seven seven tell hln uh, Judy's with us in Idaho. Judy, go ahead. Yeah, um, my comment would be uh, that I have animals. I have I've always had animals. Uh, and uh, I love my animals, but you know, using the crucifix and the rosary to uh, prove a point on a naked woman is, to me, the most disgusting thing in the world. Mm -hmm. I, I do not want my religion uh, or my feelings as a Christian to be displayed on a naked woman to prove Peter's point. Right. I, 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 I cannot believe that they would go this far. To, uh, to establish a point about uh, the okay. saving pet. Well, Lisa, go ahead and respond to that caller. Well, I mean, you know, I apologize to the, to the caller if she's offended, but that's not the reaction we're getting from most people. And the bottom line is, as an organization, we see, and I'm going to respond to Bill's earlier, earlier amazing comment, and that is that we see as an organization, and open admission shelters see, Every year, to the tune of millions of cats and dogs, these animals are losing their lives. They're having to be released from a world that doesn't want them. They meet with abuse. They live on the end of chains. They're hit by cars, and they're abused by abusive people. And we, as an organization, will do anything we can to call attention to that. And on this issue of tragic overpopulation for cats and dogs, sex does sell. This is a very sexy ad. It's a beautiful ad. I encourage everybody to go to PETA.org and see for yourself, what do you think? Think. Well, we think it's a beautiful ad. We love Joanna for doing it, and we think it's going to save lives. Well, uh, I, as a person of faith, disagree. I'm with you on the message, but I, th I don't think two wrongs make a right to degrade a faith to get a message out wrong. Bill, clock's ticking on us. Uh, a final thought here. You notice that she didn't dispute the fact that they kill 95% of all the cats and dogs in their possession. They should be called people for the unethical treatment of animals and for, and for the irreligious attacks on Catholics and Jews. They are a disgrace. I don't have blood on my hands. I like dogs. Lisa, 20, 20 25 seconds. Go ahead. Yeah, we're encouraging everybody to go to <laughs> shelters instead of pet stores. Okay. Bill this promotes buying animals while animals are dying in shelters. <laughs> we want you to save a life instead. And if you have the resources, please adopt and never buy. Okay. Don't put Lisa, them in your care. Bill, thank you guys so much. <laughs> uh, coming up, the latest.